seatbelt. We've got a train to catch. Necessarily. Nicole? Uh, Nicole? Uh, Are you alright? Uh, I think I broke my wrist. Here, let me see. Uh, this should work until we can get you to a doctor. You really did turn out to be my bodyguard. What was that? The train, stopping. We must be at the port. I've got to get off to Pomerov. Here, take this. Stay here. No. Please, take me with you. Can you handle it? Yes. Don't leave me here. Let's go. Start the engines and get us out of here! Now! Set your heading for 220. But there are boats in the way! I don't care what's in the way! Plow through them! There, the hovercraft. When we get on board, do you think you can pilot it? Yes. But you've got to be careful, James. If you puncture one of those chemical johns with a bullet, the bioweapons will escape and kill everyone. I'll keep that in mind. We've picked up Bond's signal. It looks like they're on Pomeroff's tail. Acquiring visual now. Bond and Nicole are on an assault hovercraft with what appear to be multiple hostiles on board. Picking up audio now. I'll patch it in. I've got the throttle open all the way, but we're not catching up with him. We're too heavy. I'm heading down to the hold. Maybe we can dump some cargo. All right, Nicole, try to keep it steady and keep the door locked. We're not alone. Okay, will do.
James, we're speeding up. But he's still getting away. You have to dump more cargo. Back to the bridge. James, he's firing missiles. He's firing at us. Pomrod's firing at us. Just keep going, Nicole. Hold it steady. I'll take care of it.
Change of plans. Tell me, Captain, are you sure your men can handle this? The safe destruction of all those bioweapons? Bioweapons? What bioweapons? There are no bioweapons in Russia. I see. And those men on the boat, in the hazmat suits. That's the problem with you people in the West. You always think there are WMDs. Then you go to war over it, and then, phew, there are none. You know what kind of paperwork I would have to fill out if there were WMDs here? Clearly, my mistake. Yes. And in the meantime, you can expect my government to be calling your government to register a protest for your actions here. I wouldn't have expected anything less. James, are you all right? I'm better than you. Ah, oh, this? It's given me an entirely new idea for a line of bracelets. Indeed. The cast will be off in a week. It's nothing that a few days at a private beach in Bermuda won't take care of. Care to join me? I've got a plane waiting. I wish I could. But I've still got some mopping up to do here. Mm, you sure? We might be able to get into all sorts of interesting trouble together. Well, the offer's tempting, but... By the way, what about your friend? Isn't he going to be upset about destroying his car? <laughs> he probably expected it. He already thinks I'm a terrible driver. I wreck everyone I get into. Back in London, they say the same thing about me. Anyway. Congratulations on stopping Pomerov. Thank you. And thank you for helping me facilitate things. You sure I can't convince you to come with me? Positive. Well, I hope I get to see you again. I'm sure our paths will cross. Ciao. Take care. I can't believe you let her go. She wanted you. I need a room. A private room. You should have asked for that while she was still here. Don't you have some cleaning up to do? Some non-existent bioweapons? Second floor of the police station. Third door on your right. And make sure you say hello to MI6 for me. I'll give them your best. Bond here? Yes. I've been waiting to hear from you, 007. Omarov's dead. The factory is destroyed. The remaining bioweapons have been turned over to the Russians. I know. The Prime Minister has already heard from their government. It's threatening to become a diplomatic nightmare. I want you out of there. Back in London for a full debriefing. No. This isn't over. The anonymous tip we received about the bioweapons couldn't have been from the researcher. He was being tortured at the time. Somebody wanted us to get to Pomerov, and the question is who and why. So how do you want to proceed? When I took the courier's cell phone in Istanbul, all the phone calls on it were local except for one that he didn't answer. Have Tanner and Q Branch find that phone. I want to know who the courier was avoiding and why.